depression can have a psychological cause at its root, but it can also have a physical one, making it a psychiatric depression. A person could possibly suffer from one or the other quite distinctly, but you might or might not find such a clear line between the two. To further complicate matters, often a psychological issue can trigger a psychiatric episode. So when the person caught in the maze tried to get out, maybe he or she fell into the well. Some people seem to question the validity of psychiatry, evidently proceeding from the belief that all mental difficulties have a psychological tangle at the root. I certainly think that a soldier returning from a war zone could have sustained a physical injury as the cause for PTSD, but also could have experienced a severe psychological trauma as the cause for PTSD, or possibly some combination of the two, perhaps experienced at the same moment. Because current medical technology does not yet include a way to measure the levels of serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine in the brain, and bloodstream levels apparently do not correspond with brain levels, psychiatrists have to make judgment calls based on patient symptoms. Genetics could play a role, as could a physical trauma and or a psychological trauma, and any possible combination of those three elements. In various and sometimes dynamically varying degrees. So that gives you some idea of the complexities that a psychiatrist and psychologist face when trying to make a diagnosis. If the doctor concludes that a patient with depression suffers from a low level of serotonin, it makes sense to prescribe a medication to increase the level of serotonin, just as a doctor would prescribe a blood thinner for a patient with high blood pressure. Of course, with modern technology, a nurse can easily check and accurately monitor blood pressure levels, whereas no one has yet figured out a way to look inside someone's head and measure serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine levels. So that makes mental diagnosis a tricky art form, not an exact science. Recognizing that fact, I have more than once witnessed a remarkable change produced by a prescribed medication, and I give high marks to the psychiatrists who made the calls. When you've seen a medication pull someone out of a depression or quiet the psychosis of a schizophrenic, it really makes you respect the psychiatrist who wrote the prescription, and it also conveys some sense about the physical reality at the root of some major mental issues.